Hey everybody, Robert Previous here with Pine Pond Superfoods in your weekly workout. Um, coming to you with a couple different exercises we're going to go over. First is dumbbell thrusters, then that's going to be followed by hammer curl to press. Then we're going to a stiff leg deadlift. After the stiff leg deadlift, we're going into wide push-ups, bent over rows, and then pull-ups. First thing, we're going to start with 25 pound dumbbells. You can start wherever you'd like. Um, a couple things with the thrusters here. There's a full thruster and then there's more of a shoulder thruster. One gets a little bit more explosive power. One gets more cardio, your heart rate up a little bit more. The other one just builds your shoulders a little bit more. So we'll go over a little bit of both. The first thruster, start racked here up at your shoulders. Okay, feet about hip shoulder width apart. Okay, we're going out, going into a full low squat, throwing the weights up all the way into your overhead press and then back down. This is a fluid movement. There's no pausing in it. It's all the way down, all the way up. This works your explosive power. This is actually gonna get your heart rate up a lot as well, okay? One way I like to do it, if I'm trying to build my shoulders just to be a little bit bigger, I like to rack them. I don't use the full squat. I use a partial squat here and thrust them up. This is gonna work my shoulders a little bit more. Less legs allow me to build my shoulders a little bit bigger, okay? After your dumbbell thrusters, hammer curl to press. Okay, breathe through everything that you're doing, abs nice and tight. Don't lean back while you're doing these. Try to keep a neutral spine, okay? We don't want to be back here curling and pressing. We want to be here, abs tight, hammer curl, and press. Okay, after our hammer curls and presses, we are going to stiff leg deadlifts. They call them stiff leg deadlifts because you got it. There's no bend in our knees, okay? Abs are nice and tight. We lead with our hips on our stiff leg deadlifts. We don't lead with our knees, obviously, because we're not bending them. So, back is straight, abs are tight, hips go back. Hands just get to hang out in front of me. Back stays straight through the whole movement, okay? Pull myself back up once I feel in my hamstrings. Glutes flex, shoulder blades pull back. I don't arch my back when I come up here, okay? I also don't round my back when I come down, okay? Try to focus on keeping that back nice and straight, down and up. Okay, after those, we have our wide grip push-ups. I'm gonna to try to do these on the dumbbells so you guys can see a little bit better. Wide grip push-ups are gonna activate our chest a lot more. The closer in we get with our hands, the more tricep we're working. The farther out we get, the more chest activation we get. Abs stay nice and tight, perfect push-up form. Okay, dumbbells go real wide so I can really activate that chest. Abs nice and tight. Okay, good dip. Down and up, okay? After our wide grip push-ups, we're going into our um, bent over rows. Bent over rows can be done on a bench if you need to, if you have one, but if you don't have a bench available, stand tall, one leg goes forward, opposite leg goes back, put a slight bend in that knee of the front leg, this is your athletic stance or your power stance, okay? Hip hinge forward, back stay straight, I'm not rounding here. Back stay straight, I use the hips, lean forward, Pull my shoulder blades back, then come up with my biceps with my elbows. Okay, I don't want to just come up with my elbow. That's just a bicep curl, basically. I want to make sure I'm activating all those back muscles by pulling my shoulder up and then coming up here with the row, okay? Breathe out of those. After that, last but not least, we just have our pull-ups. Make sure you try to stay neutral spine, stay under your pull-ups. Don't arch out of them. This isn't CrossFit, we're not doing kipping, we're not using momentum. This is a strict pull-up, okay? Wide grip. Okay, abs stay nice and tight when you're doing your pull-ups. If you noticed, I pull those and depress those shoulder blades first, then pull my elbows down. It's gonna get a whole lot more a lot activation. Just be a more strict and a more better pull-up, more better, a better pull-up for you. Okay, that's your weekly workout for Pine Pollen Superfoods. Check us out for more weekly workouts next week.